one game to go, lads, and how mm. fast has this year gone? It's going to fly. It's yeah. absolutely fine. I'm with uh, Bray Raffinelli, the legend of the Lockleys Footy Club. Yeah. Next from his part play, I'm not dark about that, that's okay. okay. Thanks, thanks, Dars. <laughs> How many games are Lockleys have played? Uh, 52 now. 52? 52, 52 yeah. yeah. He's done 50 for the week, so, yeah. Uh, well, it's a big banner for you. They did a, yeah. That's another 50. Yeah, no, I wasn't trying to get through it. So. <laughs> it's like, a bit of a cheek that couldn't get through the other day. Yeah, like, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was like me. Yeah, we've got Anthony Lennon. Uh, Anthony's the um, coach of the B grade at Fitzroy. Uh, Welcome. Yes. Thank you. And we'll go straight to the first game. A very interesting game this time, wasn't it? it this is. is the one we live called on Saturday, yep. the um, South Australian oh. Football, live called from the Everstown Oval. Yep, and the scores were Everstown 15 13, 103 feeding Eastern Park 12 9. But when we say it was interesting, uh, it's a massive turnaround from three quarter time, and Eastern Park looked home 11 9 to 5 11. And then Everstown from nowhere banged 10 goals onto Eastern Park's one and get the chocolates. You reckon gut wrench Eastern Park, that yeah. would have avoided relegation if they won. It was definitely avoided relegation. Yeah. They've had obviously points taken away. Yeah. But uh, to have 10 goals in the last quarter, they would have think, what happened? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> nothing's have changed that quickly. No, that's right. And uh, Eastern Park, uh, goal scorers? Uh, goal kickers for Eastern Park, D Thorpe Morgan with two, A Bergelman two, B Walkley two, M Marsden, B McMullen, M Warren, A Tuckwell, C Nat, J O Lachlan with singles. Uh, best players M Weber, L Feast, B McMullen, P Dietrichson, A Bergman, and M Warren. It looks like Eastern Park were that annoyed that not one of their goal scorers got the best players. Yeah, that's right. yeah. So that's <laughs> very annoyed. They didn't kick yeah. any more after three or one after three quarter time. They should have kicked all those boys. They should have yeah. all those. Yeah. Right, fucking you. No best, no best player for you. No best no player. Tackling there. No, yeah. no, 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 no,
Boroganoni, uh, T. Grouch, and the other single. So, best players E. Wood, J. Bennett, J. Dawkins, H. Lang, S. Marshalls, and J. Napier. Kilburn. Kilburn goal kickers, R. O'Keefe with six, R. Long four, J. Sandicott three, D. Francis, B. Parks, J. Bendesi, and M. McCallum with singles. And best players, D. Francis, D. Nags, V. Buckskin, C. Presler, C. Williams, and R. O'Keefe. Now, can you see any Graham and A. Graham in there anywhere? And the goal scorers are best players? No, I nah, nah, can't tell nah. <laughs> what, is he? Did he play or did he just, um, I don't know. He's suggesting he's been carried. The cap, I totally agree, but um, yeah. Robert Long's in there, Arlong Long four goals, all class to us here at the, uh, That's all right. the free yeah. show, so four goals and good on him too, so anyway, um, we'll go to the next game, we've got Salisbury taking on Mitcham, very close game here, so Salisbury looked um, on the bottom, we've got four wins, I mean they've had, not had a bad game, and they actually, sorry, they actually beat Mitcham, mm, they did. who were six, who were just, well they're only two games out of the five, so you think, gee, that's a bad loss there to, to Mitchum Hawks. That squashed their finals hopes, didn't it? Well, it did, I think. Yeah. So Mitchum, they won game, one game out of the five, so that would have made them equal with Edwardstown, so yeah. gee, that's a bad loss there to Mitchum. Yeah, so that was uh, Salisbury 12-10-82, uh, defeating Mitchum 10-13-73, so with Salisbury, the guys doing the damage was M Goods 4, yeah. J Man 4, J Man's not a bad one, <laughs> J Matthews 2, R Puggett, C Pryor, uh, with singles and best players B. Daglish, M. Keenahan, R. Paget, D. Knox, P. Keenahan, and C. Reid. We see again Salisbury, not one of the goal scorers in amongst their best players. Mm. So, Goods with four goals, man with four goals. Gee, boys, stop my something on your coach's lawn. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, for Mitchum? Mitchum goal kickers, uh, H. Matthews with three, D. Gregory two, and singles to S. Tucker, C. Murray, S. Henschel. G. Nurta, J. McGregor Day, and best players B. Aitken, H. Matthews, S. Tucker, C. Gregory, and D. Gregory. Yes, so a good win there to Salisbury to finish off the year, so um, unfortunately can't avoid relegation, but a um, good way to finish off the year, I think. So Now, Smosh West Lakes got a hammering again, unfortunately they've not had a good year. They will probably, have, well, well, it depends what happens to these depends what this week. Yeah. Right, so we'll come back to that, obviously, with the game. So Smosh West Lakes took on Galunga Rams, it was um, a good win there to Galunga, it was 11 12 78, who defeated Smosh 9 5 59. Yeah, so with Smosh West Lakes, got things there. Morgan Cox 6 3, K Broom 2, Kane Russell, old Will Sticky Kwan, <laughs> N Brown, M Milanovic, old uh, Asian sensation, Willie really Kwan. Uh, best players, M Gates, M Cox, old uh, Sibich, Hughes, and Caden Hung. And yep. uh, Goal kickers, L Bennett with 3, M McMahon 2, J Wonky 2, G Ward. X Larkham, T Athanos, and H Prosser with singles, and best players X Larkham, J Wonky, D Smith, A Harren, and G Ward. Yeah, I think the Rams were like the bigger win than that because considering Smosh are not a good year, they're seeing obviously third bottom or eighth, and Rams are on top to try and show they're a four. So to yeah. come to the finals, you think they would have won just about three or four more goals. That looks like Wonky's back in the side though. He's been out with an ankle injury for. Quite a few weeks. Good to see him back kick a couple, so and getting the best players as well. Mm. So, yeah. So now let's look at. It's going to be an interesting finish to this one. Obviously the relegation, and then obviously who's going to get the five. So, yep. for Kilburn to take Edwards Town. Now Ooh. this will be a cracking game. So third versus fifth. Yeah. Edwards Town, if they win, they're guaranteed final fifth spot. The um, and if they lose, then Mitch and win. They could change that around depending on what the scores are. Now. So I will go for Edwards Town. Uh, Kilburn for me. Yeah, I'll go for Towns as well. Yep. And uh, then we head up to Jeps Cross and take on Salisbury. So Jeps Cross, they are uh, second versus bottom. So look, I think Jeps Cross got them in comfort. Even though yeah. Salisbury had that fair win last week, they're yeah. not going to be any pushover. The last game, they've got nothing to lose. So uh, Jeps for me. Jeps for me. I think it's going to be a bit of a, bit of a tussle yep. there. So Eastern Park of Paraka. Now this would be oh, Eastern oh, oh. Park if they win. They stay up, they might stay up. They might stay up. If they lose, it depends on what Smosh do, which we're going to come to in a minute. So yeah. um, I'm going for well, Paraka. I think Paraka are sitting fourth, doing very well at the moment. I'm going Eastern Park, because they're going to play for the relegation. Yep. Yeah. 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 Eastern Park, Absolutely. Home. Yep. Bit to play for. Then we've got Mitchum, who are, if they win, 
it's someone's birthday as we're going to see, that's okay. Uh, we've got Mitchum. Now, if Mitchum win and Devil's Town lose, it could be a possibility that Mitchum go into the five. Yeah. Then, if Swash West Lakes win, they've got a chance of, no, lose, they've got a chance of relegation. Yeah, I think Mitchum for me. I, I think Mitchum yeah. for me, I think they're going to play for the final spot. Yep. And Swash West Lakes, unfortunately, depending on the outcome of uh, the Eastern Park game, it's going to be good at five o'clock to see what happens here. Yeah, that'll be it. People checking the phones, I'm sure, from both yeah, it's, it's yeah. Straight away. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, the last game. No, Mitchum for me as well. Yep. And last game, we've got uh, Galunga taking on um, Kermit Gardens. So, look. It's going to, I think it's going to be Glunga, but I think Glunga have not won, not taken the game apart where they should have consumed their, yeah. their top at the moment. Uh, this is the game we're calling to, so go to the live stream um, on YouTube or through the Facebook. Uh, listen to yours truly and um, TJ, Tommy Javor, and uh, of course Luke Hosey. We're at three of us, so please log in. Um, but look, Glunga for me, the last game. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, the Rams are pretty good. That's all for Vision 4, and we'll see you next week.